ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد يقول ابن عباس يقول ابن عباس رضي الله عنه يقول طلب العلم ساعة من الليل خير من قيامها طلب العلم ساعة من الليل خير من قيامها seeking knowledge an hour from the night much better than praying One more time. You have an hour. You want to pray or you want to listen to a lecture or read a book. Which one you choose? You have to pick one of the two. Ibn Abbas said, you pick seeking knowledge. Why? Because seeking knowledge teaches you how to pray and what you get when you pray and the virtue of praying and who are the people of the night and the reward they get and the difference between them and the other people and why the prayer of the night is so loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all of those things you would not know it without knowledge so if you want to like something the more you know about it the better you like it that's why you cannot like or love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unless you know his names and attributes and that is the difference between people who pray 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 and when it comes to a lecture they work they walk out they don't have time to listen to lecture so they focus on reading Quran and praying and fasting and all of that and they don't know the bare minimum. So the love of the ibadah cannot really enter their heart. It becomes like a habit a lot more than praying because you enjoy it and because you know the outcome of it. How can you teach something or love something without knowing? Uh, same thing uh, doing active on the ibadah. One of the righteous predecessors سُئِلَ أَحَدْ السَّلَفِ أَيُّهُمَا أَفْضَلْ الْعِبَاءَ أَيُّهُمَا أَفْضَلْ الْعِلْمِ أَمْ الْعَمَلِ فَقَالْ وَهَلْ يُطْلَبُ الْعِلْمِ إِلَّا لِلْعَمَلِ Which one is better? Seeking knowledge or acting or, or doing action? Look what he said. Would anyone seek knowledge for any reason but so he can work? So you have a person working without knowledge. He's not right. And you have a person seeking knowledge and not working. He's not good either. You seek knowledge to put it in practice. So knowledge is more important than the practice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not say, Say la ilaha illallah. What did he say? فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ اعْلَمْ يعني Make sure you know what it means and what it entails and how you negate it and how you approve it and what's the value of it. How would you know that لا إله إلا الله is more valuable than heavens and earth or it weighs, weighs more than that? No one would know unless you seek knowledge. So this five minutes or ten minutes that you sit and listen it's valuable in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you should be proud of yourself having the patience to do that nowadays people want to watch for 10 seconds 30 seconds one minute max and they exit they will never get to the places where they are wanting to get you can't go to Jannah simply by worshipping without knowing what you're worshipping. You could harm yourself in any way and mess out on all that. So my 
advice to myself and you, encourage you to always seek knowledge and knowledge puts you high. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts the testimony. He said, Innama yakhsha Allah min ibadihi al-ulama. Ulama are the true people who fear and uh, love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His testimony with the knowledgeable people. شهد الله أنه لا إله إلا هو والملائكة وأول العلم قائم بالقص إذا طلب العلم أهم من أي شيء بعد الفرائض ولا تؤدى الفرائض إلا إذا علمت كيف تؤديها لذلك احرص على طلب العلم واسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يزيدك من حتى النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أمره الله سبحانه وتعالى فقال وقل رب زدني علما say oh Allah increase me with knowledge وَاتَّقُوا وَيُعَلِّمُكُمُ اللَّهِ You have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases you with the knowledge That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala أَنْ يَجْعَلَنَا وَإِيَّاكُمْ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْعِلْمِ وَأَهْلِ التَّقْوَى جزاكم الله خيرا سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت استغفرك أتوب عليك السلام عليكم